everybody and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate it so very much. And uh, I hope you're having a, a nice evening where you live and a nice day where you live. And uh, this is something else here. Biden throws tantrum as crowd member needs medical attention. During a medical emergency, Biden throws a temper tantrum. We are here to bring you the latest news and analysis. We do this by providing our members with necessary tools and resources to make informed decisions. It's no surprise that President Biden doesn't seem concerned about the needs of the crowd. He seems like he's comfortable with the way Americans feel. We love Trump. During a recent rally, Biden had a medical emergency that made the president appear irritable. It's possible that rally is a little ambitious since we don't actually see the actual crowd sizes. That's true. A member of the crowd at Biden's speech fainted. Joe snaps and seems irritated that the audience brought it to his attention so that they could get help. My goodness. This poor excuse for president when a medical emergency occurs is met with disdain and anger. Unlike Trump's massive crowd draws, there are thousands of people who show up at his rallies. A man who generally cares about his constituents. According to a report by NextNewsNetwork.com, Trump held a rally in Wyoming to support Harriet Hagman, who is running against Liz Cheney for the lone congressional seat in the state. Trump endorsed uh, Hagman during the primary. Excuse me. On Twitter, the director of programming of RSBN, R, RSB Network claimed that Trump's rally in Wyoming was the largest in the state's history. An event announcer claimed that the event had the largest crowd in Wyoming history. As Trump was taking the stage, the announcer said that the event had the largest crowd in the state. He then asked the people of Wyoming to welcome the 45th President of the United States. Dan Scavino Jr. Scavino Jr. posted a video of the crowd size on his Twitter account. Trump responded to the reports about the event on Sunday, saying that it was the biggest in, in Wyoming history. He also referred to it as an incredible energy event. While Biden was reportedly throwing a temper tantrum because of a medical emergency that occurred during his rally, Trump was able to address the crowd and endorse a true patriot for Congress. It's clear who the real leader is, and it is not the corrupt and weak liberal like Biden who only cares about pushing their agenda. I don't know. He got upset. Someone fainted, needed medical attention, and he got upset because it took it away from him and his agendas. Oh, mercy to mer mercy, mercy, mercy to mercy. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Like I said, I like reporting the news, good or bad, sometimes funny, you know, never know. Nancy Pelosi is going to lose everything because of one shocking decision by the Democrats. Now, I saw another article earlier, and um, I didn't take it. But something about uh, her plans for retirement now. Nancy Pelosi has been a fixture in the Washington, D.C. swamp for decades. But her time in power could be coming to an end. Well, maybe that's because she's going to retire. I don't know. Now Nancy Pelosi is going to lose everything because of one shocking decision by the Democrats. Everything has gone wrong for the Democrats since the party retook control of the U.S. House, Senate, and the White House in late January of 21. Democrats are in disarray from, 
fighting over the party's failures during the Biden presidency. Grumbling against party insiders is growing amid concerns over the failed leadership of Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, Democratic California. At 82 years old, Speaker Pelosi has led House Democrats since 2003, serving two separate stints as Speaker. Now Democrats are quietly working behind the scenes to topple Pelosi at the top, House Democrat in the next Congress. Speaker Pelosi's political future is murking and giving her advanced age and pressure from some in the Democrat Party to move forward with new, younger leadership. Rumors are swirling that Pelosi could step down from her leadership uh, role to pass the torch to the next generation of Democrats. Uh, Politico reported that uh, Rep. Hakeem, Hakeem Jeffries, Democrat in New York, met with House Majority Whip Representative Jim Clyburn, a Democrat of South Carolina, the third-ranking House Democrat, about taking over leadership of the House of Democrats from Pelosi. Rep. Jeffries is currently the fifth-ranking House Democrat and has been long rumored as a future Democrat leader in the House. Representative Clyburn is leading African-American Democrat is considered a major power broker in the party. The meeting with Jeffries came after news that Rep. Adam Schiff, S-C-H-I-F-F, Democrat of California, that could be Schiff, Schiff, um, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, was also working behind the scenes to secure support to replace Posley, Pelosi. Clyburn gave his real seal of approval to Jeffries, a fellow member of the Congressional Black Caucus. There's nothing I would ever do to impede the progress of our up-and-coming young Democrats and see him as an up-and-coming young Democrat, Claiborne said about Jeffries. He knows that. I didn't have to tell him that, but I did. He noted that during their conversation, Jeffries referred to me as a mentor. The support of a respected Democrat power broker like uh, Representative Clyburn is a critical boost in the behind this in the behind the scenes battle to replace Speaker Pelosi. Daily Mail <clears throat> reported Clayburn's support would all but ensure a victory for Jeffries to become the first black lawmaker to serve as a congressional leader. While Rep uh, Representative Schiff has been trying to build up support behind the scenes, he could fall victim to Democrats' obsession with identity politics. Democrats committed to uh, radical or racial diversity is what this country is all about. An anonymous Democrat lawmaker told Politico uh, before adding that votes well for Hakeem. While Hakeem Jeffries has a lower profile nationally, he would become just the next radical socialist to lead House Democrats. With Democrats already pos positioning themselves to replace her, Nancy Pelosi's political career could be coming to a close. Stay tuned to conservative underground news for many updates on this ongoing story. Well, <clears throat> I can agree with getting new blood in the Congress. You know, I I don't really go quite that far. Um, but for the past two years, you know, we've really been hit hard. And that tells me that the ones in the Congress are not for the people of the United States of America or even the United States of America. Biden isn't, you know. He's done everything negatively, completely away from being positively on anything. 
that would be good for us. So, I don't know. Well, uh, I don't know. What's this one here? Adam Schiff, S-C-H-I-F-F, -F, just described Nancy Pelosi in a way that will make you sick to your stomach. Ooh, I don't think I want to read that. Yeah, let's see, Nancy Pelosi was blindsided after she got this bad news. She never saw coming. And Nancy Pelosi is in hot water after this jaw-dropping news came out. I'm not sure what that's all about. I'll go take a peek real quick, so hang in there. Nancy Pelosi is in hot water after this jaw-dropping news came out. There may be no politician in history as corrupt as Nancy Pelosi. Well, I know I uh, read, you know, where she bid, what was that? She bid on stuff she wasn't supposed to be buying, bidding on against the United States or something like that, that they're not supposed to do in, in the stock market. Something about that. I didn't really get into that. Now I kind of wished I would have. You know, it'd be kind of interesting. But with an estimate net worth of $120 million, she has cashed in big on her status. Uh, most of that was under the table. Bidding on and making money off of stuff she really shouldn't have been doing. And now Nancy Pelosi's in hot water after this jaw-dropping news came out. Nancy Pelosi's one of the richest politicians in history. I wonder who will get all that money. Don't you Don't you wonder that? Am I related to her? Could I Could I go back in history maybe? <laughs> maybe I'm a real distant, distant, dis, 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 distant cousin. <laughs> but I still might get a share of the pot, huh? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, how much of her wealth comes from real estate? A huge chunk comes through investments made by her and her husband, Paul. Considering her status within the government, she is privy to information that can be used to influence her stock portfolio. I just said that. And just this week it came out that she may have used information to learn from her position to make big money on the stock market. Her husband, Paul Pelosi, bought Amazon call options just weeks before the Pentagon announced it was canceling a multi-billion dollar contract with Microsoft, with Amazon being a top contender for taking it over. The Biden administration made the unexpected announcement on Tuesday, saying that it was canceling its multi-billion dollar JEDI cloud service services contract. In the announcement, they specifically named Amazon as a top competitor. The department intends to seek proposals from a limited, limited number of sources, namely the Microsoft Corporation and Amazon Web Services, AWS, as available market research indicates that these two vendors are the only cloud service providers capable of meeting the department's requirements. However, as noted in his pre-solicitation notice, the department will immediately engage industry and continue in market research to determine whether any other U.S.-based hyperscale CSPs can also meet the DOD's requirements. If so, those departments will also negotiate with those companies. Amazon uh, has long been favored to win the JEDI contract, but was awarded to Microsoft in 2019. The company sued the Trump administration for the decision, arguing that they lost due to President Donald Trump's dislike of Amazon CEO Jeff Benzo. Not Benzo, Bezo. B-E-Z-O-S, Bonzo, Benzo. Ultimately, a Pentagon Inspector General reported found 
Trump did not interfere in that decision. So now Amazon is the most likely recipient of the contract, which would be a huge boost to the company. After the announcement, Amazon stock prices closed at a record high. Wow, of three, six, seven, five, point seven, four. Topping its previous closing record of three, five, three, one, point, four, five. Wow. Huh. Oh well. By making a call option six weeks ago, the Pelosi's were able to cash in big time. Well, of course. <laughs> I gotta start bidding on stuff, don't I? <clears throat> on May 21st, I wish I had the money to <clears throat> bid on a loaf of bread right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. On May 21st, Paul Pelosi bought the call options worth between 500000 and $1 million according to the latest financial disclosures filed by the House Speaker. Call options are only able to make money when a stock rises. So with a huge boost following the Biden administration's announcement, Nancy Pelosi had a great day financially. Mm. Oh well, do you think Nancy Pelosi's finances should be investigated? I don't like to say nothing. I just say there's rats under the table all the time. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. And um, I'll be back. If I can stay awake, I'm getting kind of sleepy. <laughs> I'm getting a little tired. I'll try to do a couple more because I'm so far behind anyway. And uh, I got a whole desktop loaded again. It doesn't take long, you know, to get these articles and stuff. But I'm just going on my third month of posting videos. And needless to say, and honestly to say, I don't think that my channel is doing very well. Mm -mm. And I'm not quite sure what I can do. I don't have a camera that I can take and walk around with. You know, like outside, that I can make uh, a video on what's going on the outside and birds flying around or, or trees flying, the leaves are flying. They're beautiful. The trees are getting just beautiful. And uh, today it's another rainy, rainy, overcast, sad day. You know, you don't have much energy in those kind of days. And the pollen is so high uh, the humidity was, oh, terrible. Just terrible. And I don't do good with that. No. My sinuses don't. But, um, it's, um, I've got to find something better to do. I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know. I, I'm a musical person. I think I've said that before. And I do paint in acrylics. But I haven't in a long, long time. And in order for me to set up and do a painting, which I would love to do on YouTube and make a video of, uh, with three dogs and two cats, and they get to romping and stomping, and I could just picture my painting going this way, the tripod going, <laughs> the easel going that way, and I, I would probably end up with the water bowl that I wash my brush in to get to my paints, you know, probably would flip right up over my head and all over me. I can just picture that. So, I'm not sure yet. Give me some hints. You know, I like hints, but I love doing the news. But everybody's so tired of it, and I can understand that. You know, I get tired of it too, but I still like to do it. Um, I'm very disappointed I don't know if if they're done with the midterms decisions yet, the voters or what, but I I am a little disheartened. It didn't go the way I thought it might. And uh, like I've repeated so many times before, we got two years to go yet. Lord God be with us. Protect us. That's about all I can say. So... 
You are a blessing and give someone else a blessing. See you later.